Yes, it should be a safe place for children. Nearly 100 shots fired just a few feet from a West Philadelphia rec center. It happened at the same time that kids were inside playing. Five people were shot. Three suspects are now in custody, but the search is on for three more. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is at police headquarters with the latest. Howard? Well, as, uh, as of now, they say they do not have a motive for what led up to this shooting. However, now local, state, and federal authorities, they're now working together to try to put a stop to Philly's seemingly surge in gun violence. Something has to give. Something has to give because Philadelphia, I mean, hey, where you go, it's a problem, but Philadelphia is really getting out of hand. Fear is growing in West Philly. Carmelo Truel and her eight year old son Yasir walk in the same stretch of 57th Street where less than 24 hours earlier, 100 shots were fired. It's to the point I just want to take my son and go. Sound like Beirut out here yesterday. And I've never been to Beirut, but it sounded like Beirut out here yesterday. So, like a war zone? Yes, exactly like a war zone. Jamar Muhammad was selling merchandise nearby when the shooting happened. Five victims just finished playing basketball at the Shepherd Recreation Center when they were shot in a drive by shooting. We're not giving up. We believe in our people. We believe in our people. We're not giving up on our people. On Wednesday, top lawmakers and law enforcement, including Mayor Jim Kenney and District Attorney Larry Krasner, went back to that same basketball court. The victims range in age from 17 to 25 years old. Two of them are in critical condition. As for the suspects, three people were arrested after they crashed a white SUV trying to drive away from the scene. They're all 22 years old. Police are looking for three more people. This is about as serious as it gets when it comes to criminal activity. While Truel says that she'd like to move, Muhammad isn't giving up. Be careful, be aware, and you know, keep doing what I'm doing. Now, the suspects, they are charged with attempted murder and other charges. However, if any of these victims, if they die, those charges could be upgraded to murder. Live outside of police headquarters, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thank you.